Hello my friends, welcome to Cost India online training series. Today and in this time, I want to explain and introduce to you the open source storage platform solution from the Red Hat company. The name is Red Hat Cluster Storage. My name is Mohamed Ali Nagwal, I am Red Hat Architect and today in this time I will be with you to introduce Red Hat Cluster Storage to you. Welcome to this introduction. What is Red Hat Cluster Storage? Our headlines are Software Defined Storage, Red Hat Cluster FS, Red Hat Cluster FS Capabilities, Architect and Features. I will start by introduce and say something about Software Defined Storage or in short form SDS. If you know about the traditional method like NAS storage and SAN storage, network attached storage and storage area network, what is the architecture of these two technologies? 100% answer is hardware. Why STS is a storage architecture that separates the storage software, means software part of the storage, from the hardware. But these two things in the traditional method they are combined together and you cannot divide it. STS has been designed in general, in general mode to perform on any industry standard or x86 system, removing the software's dependence on proprietary hardware. With this, proper, with this uh, parameters, we are be able to in, uh, implement the uh, SDS over the physical, virtual, or cloud resources. In the next slide, we will discuss about what is Red Hat Cluster FS. Okay, Red Hat Cluster Storage is a one method of STS, but what is it? Red Hat Cluster Storage file system combines file and object storage with the scale out architecture design to effectively store and manage the data. If you check this diagram, in the top, as an administrator, you are be able to work with the cluster storage platform. From the left, we have a physical machines here. After that, servers or technical name is node and disks are available here. After that, inside these disks, we will create a brick. One, two, three, as you want, you can create. And through that bricks, you can combine them together and create a cloud volume manager. As a user or consumer, you are be able to use one of these platforms and connect to your cloud volume manager with NFS, network file system, SIFS, common internet file sharing, Fuse, or OpenStack Swift. You are be able to access to the cloud volume manager and use it. Next one, we will discuss about the capabilities of the cluster FS. Scale up and scale out, decentralized, high availability, and bare metal installation. Scale out and scale up means you are be able to expand your platform without downtime. It's very important. You can expand your pool, redundancy and availability without downtime. Decentralized means you it's not like this to store your information over the one server and one node. It will be spreaded over the whole servers inside the cluster FS network platform high availability and bare metal. We are be able to install this one over the private cloud, public cloud, Amazon EC2 or Microsoft Azure plus Google Cloud Platform. Inside the architect, we will discuss about two points. First of all, server side and client side. First of all, server side. If you check the right side diagram, in the down you have a cluster of a server side diagram. You have a node, node 1, node 2, node 3, or node n. You can combine so many machines together. Inside that one, over the storage and physical uh, storage, we, are, we, sh we should create a brick. And we can combine the bricks from the nodes and create cluster FS volume. This is the server side. If you check the right side, the elements are node or server trusted storage pool a connecting to connecting the servers together means the real servers node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node n after that we have a break xfl file system 
after that we can combine breaks together and create volume and inside the volume we are be able to choose a different different method and design like distributed stripped dispersed or replicated in the other side you have client side also I said what? I said STS and Red Hat cluster storage be able to be accessible over the network. It's designed to this one. It's not designed for local usage. It's designed to access through the network. Now, over the client side, we are be able to install native client, NFS, Samba, Fuse, or Swift, and try to access to the cluster plus volume through the network. If I want to say something about the features, you can, you, we are be able to set HCL, COTAS, IP failover, Geo replication for disaster backup server, and snapshot of cluster as volumes. This introduction it was so small because I had tried to introduce cluster volume storage to you. Thanks for your time. Hope in the next video and session, I will try to introduce. Uh, uh, cluster uh, storage over the real platform please contact with me with this linkedin i will be happy to answer your question thank you so much have a good time